In order to generate a histogram on Microsoft Excel, you must install the Data Analysis Pack. On the Data tab, there should be an analysis tool over here. So you would have to walk your students through this, and this is a profile setting, so you would have to do this all day long with multiple sections of Inventor. Um, you go to the File tab, you're going to go to Add-ins, and if you select Analysis Tool Pack, Excel Add-ins, we're going to manage those, we're going to click Go, and then you have to check the Analysis Tool Pack. Now that's a, a lot of nuts and bolts on Inventor, and then now you have this Analysis Tool Pack button up here. This does give you some extra tools because we can generate descriptive statistics with all in one shot, but it's still a tricky tool to use instead of writing individual formulas. So we'll take a look at that along with the histogram. So, um, and it has to be done in separate steps. So I'll have to do descriptive stats, say OK. Input range. Now here I must click the input range, select my data, and if I hit this button here, that takes me back. It looks like those numbers are there, B10 to B29. I believe that's a mistake in the way you click things on this program. I'm going to select output range, collect, select this button, and select this button and output range. Um, you're going to have to decide where do we want the output to go. It's going to do mean, median, mode, range, standard deviation, some K values, confidence interval if we select that, summary statistics if we select that. And I can select do I want this in this worksheet or in a new workbook. So that looks to be you know, if we look at that, you, you, you click that, you select it, says, hey, collect this, that goes back, you say OK, and it all worked just fine. Um, the, the problem is it's easy to miss one of those button clicks. The other problem with this is that if I change something, um, and I go to 78, guess what? I had one student a little bit taller. It does not change the mean. It changes the mean when I have a formula, but this is now not a formula. It's one static value that calculates the statistics and plugs it in as a text value. So if there is a mistake over here, all of a sudden you can't really fix it, and these are not equations. So it's an okay tool, but it's not as powerful as writing the individual equations. And this is how this is taught and laid out in the curriculum.